Gordon, um, Marion Station. Uh, also a uh, former Lower Marion Township Commissioner and member of the NAACP Mainline, uh, former chair of the police committee. Um, the reason why I'm a member of NAACP Mainline is that I felt there was some unfinished business in my work as commissioner, specifically on policing. And I brought the issues to them and I found their work to be compelling. And of course, there's never, I mean, this is the unfinished business of America, but um, specifically, um, the, the reason I, what I brought to them was that there was a portion of Major Ben's report that just didn't make it into policy and remained on the cutting room floor. Um, it wasn't a perfect report. It wasn't written in the, in the King's English or Shakespearean English. And in fact, some of its statements were very, some of the statements in the report were very vague. And they were vague because he was trying to sort of balance um, keeping the police engaged and supportive of what he was saying and trying to effectuate change. It was subtle and there were portions of the report that were, um, that really needed to be clarified. I offer myself as a, um, as a resource for you. I sent all of you a list of the portions of the report that did not make it into practice um, and I asked that those be re-examined. I'll look through my files and I'll try to find the memo again. Also, I ran into Major Ben two months ago in Chestnut Hill He's doing well, he's active. We have spoken numerous times and I reached out to him immediately after the George Floyd incident to develop what I would call a national protocol on use on race and police. And, uh, and I sent that to you as well. Um, he's a resource for you. You can bring him back. You can ask him to analyze this and you know get his responses. Um, <clears throat> we live in a post George Floyd era, we live in a post Rodney King era and uh, Eric Gardner in Staten Island and the names are too long and too many for me to remember. Um, but we live in a world where the, where we have to, we should examine if we're to, to be the best, have the best police department we can have, how do we deal with the fact that there is fundamental fear from African Americans during a police stop? What do we do? How do we deal with that? So I just want to raise maybe three, this isn't complete, uh, comprehensive, but just three issues to explore. The first is we should explore, um, should a taser be used to enforce compliance with oral commands absent an immediate threat to the, use, the immediate threat to an officer? I'm not sure, but it's something we should discuss. Secondly, we should explore as uh, Superintendent McGrath mentioned de-escalation. De -escalation. Um, he referred to as mid-event disengagement. This could be, this is about slowing down, disengaging, de-escalation. Um, Mike taught me when I was in your shoes that one of the most important things an officer can do is to put something between him or her and the threat. It could be a podium. He showed me on a desk. It could be a police car. He spoke of it this evening, and that was put the police car between, the officers could have put the police car between them and the suspect and waited until things calmed down. Um, one other very brief point, I know my time is, is out, but one other very brief point is um, <coughs> having dealt with use of force issues in Philadelphia, when someone requests a white shirt, it's probably pretty widely known that a white shirt is a supervisor in Philadelphia. Mike wears the same uniform as his officers in Philadelphia. Whether it's a prisoner, prison guard, or a police officer, a white shirt is a supervisor. And if you add the request for a supervisor, a white shirt, with the request for a sergeant or a supervisor, it was at least seven times. And that was, it's really concerning. And one of the, in a, in a post-George Floyd world, one of the questions I'm thinking about that we should explore is absent an immediate threat to the officers. If someone asks for a supervisor, should the use of force stop? So I'm happy to be a resource for you and happy to continue this discussion. Thank you.